Picture this, you're 70 years old, you have a house worth $600,000, but no other real assets. The only income that you get is from the age pension, which gives you roughly $460 per week. Now you're sitting there watching TV and an ad comes on for a big three week European river cruise where you cruise through the canals of Europe for three weeks, whining and dining and just loving life. And you sit there and you think to yourself, geez, my health isn't getting any better and that is something that I would love to do. The only problem is the cost of the trip is $30,000, which would take you years to save up on your pension. So what's your options? Well, this is where a reverse mortgage might help. Hello guys, Brad here from The Guided Investor and we are back with another video. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button because I post videos about how you can do more with your money. Today we are talking about reverse mortgages, so let's start off by explaining what a reverse mortgage is. A reverse mortgage is a type of loan that has specifically been designed for people over the age of 62 to borrow money using the equity in their house. The money can be borrowed as a lump sum, an income stream, or a line of credit. Interest is charged on this loan like any other loan, but the difference is you're not required to make any repayments towards this loan. Instead, the interest is capitalized onto the loan, which basically means that the interest is added on to the amount that you owe. The only time that you need to pay back this loan is when you either sell your house, move into a retirement village, or if you pass away. Now there are obviously restrictions on how much you can borrow under a reverse mortgage, and those restrictions are gonna be based on your age and the value of your house. So generally, if you're around about 63 years of age, you can normally borrow around 15% of the value of your house. This increases all the way up to around 50% of the value when you reach age 95. And the reason they keep their LVRs so low is because they don't want the value of the loan to exceed the value of your house. So now that we know what a reverse mortgage is, let's consider, is it a good idea? In my opinion, a reverse mortgage is a last resort. If you have other funding mechanisms, look to use them first. Because there are a number of downsides to a reverse mortgage, which we will look at now. Firstly, interest rates and ongoing fees for reverse mortgages are quite high and there's not a whole lot of lenders offering them. Secondly, the effect of compound interest means that you're gonna be paying interest on interest on interest and this can really add up quickly and eat into the equity in your home. Third, if interest rates rise, then the compounding effect is gonna be sped up. Now, you can choose to fix the interest rate on your loan, but if you then go to break that fixed contract, there's gonna be penalties. Number four, if the value of your house falls, then you're gonna have less equity, which means less money in the future for things like aged care and medical treatment. Number five, you need to consider the Centlink implications of a reverse mortgage. Now, most of the time, a reverse mortgage won't affect your age pension if the money is used for things like consumption, so holidays and stuff like that. However, you need to check this first before jumping in. And number six, a lot of people like to gift their house in their estate. Now, if you have a reverse mortgage against your house and you pass away, then likelihood is that house is gonna to need to be sold to pay out the debt that's owing on the property. So as you can see, a reverse mortgage can be a good funding mechanism for some people, but it's not the be all and end all for everyone. So before jumping in, I'll suggest getting some advice. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, then please leave it a thumbs up and I will catch you in the next one.